Welcome, Welcome to, the to the second half, second half of chapter, chapter, seven, chapter 7, which covers which trigonometry. Is trigonometry. This Good first video is, is going to help us learn what the trigonometric the functions is are and pretty how to different set them than up. The this video is the basis for the entire rest of the chapter, so it's really important that you do a good job watching this and ask questions of your teacher if you have them. Students tend to be really successful in this part of chapter seven, as long as they do a good job in the beginning to learn the different ratios. So let's just jump right in. What is a trigonometric ratio? Well, a trigonometric ratio is a ratio of two sides in a right triangle. So the ratio of two sides in a right triangle. Now, there's three different ratios depending on the sides that you choose. First ratio is called sine. Second ratio is cosine. And third ratio is tangent. Now there are three abbreviations that we use so that we don't have to write that out each time. Sine is S-I-N. Cosine is COS, and tangent is TAN. Now, like I said, these are abbreviations. So please don't go around talking about the sin ratio. It's sine. Uh, so for this first example, we're going to talk about what those ratios actually are. You'll notice at the top that I wrote SOKOTOA. This t helps us find the ratios. OK, so the S, or this SO part, goes with sine. It's O over H. Cosine is the C1, it's A over H, and tangent is O over A. So in our triangle, we need to talk about which side is O, which one is A, and which one is H. If we look at angle C, H stands for hypotenuse. So you should be able to label the, label the hypotenuse in a triangle, it's always the same. O stands for opposite. I mean the opposite side from our angle. So we are talking about angle C, the side that is opposite from angle C, that's our O. A is the adjacent side. So that would be the other side. So normally what you would do is you would have numbers for each of these sides, and that's what you would plug into your ratio. In this case, we don't have numbers, so we're just going to put the sides in. So sine O, so that's AB, labeled on our figure, over H, which is AC. Cosine is A, which is side BC, over our, our hypotenuse, which is side AC. And then tangent is O, which is side AB, over A, which is side BC. Okay. So it is really important that you have this memorized. That will tell you how to find each ratio. So O and H goes with sine. A and H goes with cosine. O and A goes with tangent. So anytime you do a trig problem, you need to write that down. And your very first step is lab labeling which side is which. So we're going to look at example two now, which has some actual numbers we can use. Okay, so for example two, it says, find the ratios listed below. If we look on the left side, we're looking at angle K. So we need to label the sides looking at angle K. H is the hypotenuse, always gonna be the hypotenuse. O is the side opposite of our angle K. A is the last side then. So I said we need to write SOKOTOA to tell us which sides to use. Sine goes with OH, so it's O over H. Cosine is going to be A over H. And tangent is O over A. Now, we labeled the sides O, A, and H, so now we just need to use the numbers there. The side that's O is 32 over H, which is 40. Cosine is A over H, so 24 over 40. And tangent is O over A, which is 32 over 24. Now I do expect that you're going to simplify those. So for sine, I can divide both of those numbers by 8, and I get 4 fifths. Cosine I can divide by 8, and I get 3 fifths. 
and then I get four thirds. Okay, so now we need to look at angle J. When we look at angle J, we need to relabel the sides. Look at angle J. Hypotenuse is still hypotenuse. This now is the opposite side, and hence this is the adjacent side. So labeling O, A, and H is dependent on which side you're looking at. Okay, so now we're ready to jump in with our sine cosine tangent. So sine of J is O over H, so in this case 24 over 40. Cosine is A over H, A again is labeled 32. And then O over A, so 24 over 32. We need to simplify these, so we get 3 fifths, 4 fifths, and 3 fourths. And those are our answers. So again, the process, my suggestion when you're doing these trig ratios, write that SOHCAHTOA at the top, and then you'll need to label your O, A, and H on your figure, which is dependent on the angle that you're looking at. Okay, a few things I want you to want to point out to you. Did you notice that you got three-fifths twice, or that we got three-fifths twice, and that we got four-fifths twice? That's always going to be the case. The sine of one angle is equal to the cosine of the other angle. So again, sine of one angle is equal to cosine of the other angle. There's also a relationship with the tangents. The tangents are going to be reciprocals. Now that's a good way to check your answer. Find your sine, cosine, and tangent of one angle, sine, cosine, and tangent of the other angle, and see, do these relationships hold true? Are my tangents reciprocals? Is one sine equal to the cosine of the other angle? That's one way to check your answer. Another way is this box that you can see to the right. Did you notice that your sine and cosine ratios are between 0 and 1? So all four of these ratios that we got are fractions between 0 and 1. That'll always be the case. Tangent, on the other hand, is just bigger than 0. So tangent can be any value bigger than 0. OK, it is your turn now to try an example. So let's look at example three. I'm gonna start you out and then you'll come to class with the rest of this finished. So it says, find the ratios listed below. So I wanna remind us that we're gonna be using SOHCAHTOA again. Now, one way that this is different is you have a side that's missing. So the very first thing that you need to do is you need to find that missing side. How are you gonna do that? Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so you'll just set up your Pythagorean theorem and you'll solve for your missing side. So in this case, side across from the 90, that's our C. So we have 24 squared plus X squared. So you'll probably need to take out a calculator. Once you have that X, you need to find your sine cosine tangent. Now remember with the SOHCAHTOA, here's how this works. So tells you to use sides O and H. Ka, so for cosine, tells us to use A and H. Toa, for tangent, tells us to use O and A. So once you have your side X, you're going to need to label your O, A, and H for angle S. And then separately, you'll need to do angle R. When you come to class tomorrow, the expectation is that you will have this problem finished. Good luck.